gonna record like that. Welcome back to my channel, bitches. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Alright. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jamie V. Thanks for stopping by. So today we're gonna be doing a Marshalls haul. I got some beauty stuff, some decor stuff, some other stuff, a whole bunch of stuff. But before we get into the video, I would like to say a couple of things. One, I'm aware my nails are not done. Do not leave me hate comments down below because they look crappy. Just ignore them, okay? Two, I do not have any lashes on today. My eyes have been super watery, so I just opted to not do that. And number three, I look like a bum. That's okay. All right, so before we get into the video, guys, just make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it at the bottom of this video so you can become part of the hive. We do all kinds of fun stuff on this channel. I upload three days a week at 5 p.m. Eastern time. I'll go ahead and leave it down here below. You wanna be subscribed so you can get all of the notifications when I instantly upload. I do upload makeup tutorials, product reviews, fun challenges, hauls, all of that good stuff. You don't want to miss it. If you're already subscribed, welcome back. I missed you. I love you. Let's get into the video. All right, guys. So we are going to be doing a Marshalls haul. I don't really see too many Marshall hauls. I see a lot of like TJ Maxx and stuff like that. But I think like Marshall's umbrella under TJ Maxx or with TJ Maxx. So I would stop there. I do a couple of times, but I don't usually find a lot of stuff there. So I kind of just don't go. But this time I went, I found a whole crap ton of stuff. So I got some good stuff. It's not all beauty related, but it's all like, I guess, related to beauty and lifestyle because I'm going to be using some of it for my background in future videos and stuff like that. So, you know, it's fun. Decor, fun stuff, skincare stuff, all kinds of stuff. But, um... So today I decided I was going to kind of like bum it. I wasn't going to do my makeup. I was just going to like darken my eyebrows a little and just kind of put a lip on and go with that. But then I did that and then I saw me on camera and then I was like, oh, no. <laughs> so here I am. All right. So let's get this is bag numero uno. So the first thing I picked up was this little plaque and it's hollow in the back. And this one was, um, I don't know, price isn't there. So it's just really cute, how to find happiness. One, inhale, two, exhale, three, be grateful, and four, repeat. So I just think this will be really cute, like sticking it somewhere either behind me in my background or in my living room or other places somewhere. And then I got another one of these guys. So if you didn't see my what I got for Christmas video, I'll go ahead and link it above. I know Christmas was a while ago, but my husband did get me one of these and this one was only $3.99, but I think it also, when he got me one, it was like super freaking expensive. I'm not, I'm just going to do this for the video guys. You're just going to have to love it. Yes. Are we doing this? Is this what we're doing? This is what we're doing. All right. Freaking yes has nothing to do with my shirt or anything else. And by the way, so I put on my husband's shirt. This is Steven's shirt. My husband is super freaking funny and super freaking awesome. And I will go ahead and link up above the video where he did my makeup and it was a lot of fun to do. I really enjoy having him on my channel because he's a big part of what I'm doing. But today I was like, I'm gonna wear his shirt because it's loose and it's comfortable. And I just wanna kind of be chill with you guys when I do these hauls. And so as I'm doing my makeup, I'm like, I noticed that I'm starting to like do that red maroon like vibe of the shirt. So at the end when I'm almost done, I'm like, oh, I should pop something on my inner corner. And I look at my palette and I literally have like this yellow orange. And I was like, we're doing it. First of all, get it together. Okay, so that's what I did. And it turned out really good. So the next item I got was a makeup item. This is the MAC lipstick and this is from the Aaliyah collection. I was really excited to find this because this collection sold out so fast and it's limited edition so they will not be bringing it back. The only way to find it is going on like all those crazy online things where they charge you like an arm and a leg. I got it for $9.99 and this is in the shade Try Again. And it is this pretty like maroony shiny and it has I'm what I'm assuming is her signature so when you open it up it is this really pretty nude color and this is just fantastic like I just love this color look at that oh that is like almost my perfect nude guys I have not found my perfect nude if you have found your perfect nude I need you to tell me below if you haven't 
also comment below so I know that I'm not alone because I've tried a million nude lipsticks and none of them are like that perfect flesh tone color. So the next thing I got in this fancy little bag is e.l.f. Hydrating Water Essence. I have started doing the 10 step, it's like the Korean 10 step skincare routine. So I've added stuff like essence and whatnot into my regimen for the night time. So I thought I'd pick this up. A lot of people really raved about the e.l.f. skincare stuff and I just never really picked it up but I got this for $3.99 so I was like why the freak not. I had to take the bow off. It was giving me a headache. All right. Okay, so I got this for $3.99. I think e.l.f. is already pretty cheap, but to get it for like four bucks, that's what's up. So, all right, and it comes in this, ooh, even if it doesn't work, I could probably just display this because this is really pretty bottle for three bucks. Okay, e.l.f. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's a twist off. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Oh, oh. Oh. Okay, so it smells really good. And it feels super, oh my goodness, it feels so hydrating. Oh, and it smells, it's not very, like, it doesn't have a lot of perfume in it, but there's definitely a scent to it. And it's not greasy feeling, it's just super, super, super hydrating. I am going to be using that. So with some of this stuff, like the skincare stuff, I'm going to be doing, I guess, like a playlist or maybe a series where I like go back to hauls. So maybe like a re-review of my previous hauls just to tell you like, hey, I used this and I liked it or hey, I didn't. Because doing these hauls with you, I can't really use all this stuff on camera at once. So I think that'll be super fun. Comment below and let me know what you think. Another product I got was the e.l.f. Hydrating Bubble Mask. And this was $4.99. So again, this is that beautiful, it's like a green blue, like just hydro water, beautiful packaging. And this says, this hydrating and nourishing gel transforms into a bubble mask on your face. Bubbles form to remove excess dirt and cleanse pores for glowing, healthy looking skin. Oh, okay. So it has like a little push down. And it just says push down on the sides of the top to disperse product. Oh, that's pretty fancy for e.l.f. I got like nothing but bubbles coming out though. I'm not going to. Do you guys see that? <laughs> Can you see the bubble? <laughs> All right, so I guess this is good just for my hand. So I'm going to go ahead and like just put it on my hand and kind of see what it does. Oh, it's really thick. So it definitely is like really cooling and hydrating feeling. It's a little bit thick, but it's a mask, so it's going to be a little bit thicker. Um, it is starting to bubble, if you can see here. We'll leave it here for a minute or so and see what it turns out to. But it is really starting to bubble up here, almost like a soap. So the only problem is I wonder if like the foaming, cause I know like I can't use foaming cleansers because I have really dry skin. Um, it kind of dries it out more. So I'm wondering if because it bubbles, if it's the same thing, I don't know. But that's what that looks like when it starts to foam up. And I think that's really cool. We'll kind of leave it and just see how it goes. So the next thing is gonna be a Ray and Dunn just ceramic um, holder. This one is in Dream. I'm going to be putting my eye brushes in this behind me. Um, like I said in my previous video, I am currently in the process of buying new things to redo my background. So I'm really excited to share that with you guys once it's up and ready to go. And then I will be doing a makeup collection, beauty room, or room um, tour just to kind of give you guys a look into what I got and what's going on so this one is the same this is rain done these are $5.99 this one says inspire and I just don't want to break them because I break everything I'm clumsy and then this guy is my favorite so also rain done and this is this says believe it is a super super big glass um container just decor whatever you get it. We get it. So I paid for this one was $5.99 as well. So I paid $5.99 for all of them. I plan on sticking my face brushes in this and kind of like having it in the center with the other ones on the side of it. Just like really cute and fancy. It'll make it look like I'm fancy because I'm not fancy. But if I could pretend to be fancy so people could think I'm fancy, 
then basically I'm fancy is what it's saying. But I want to take a second to show you guys how much this is bubbling up. Like it is really super foaming. So I think that's really cool. Ooh, ooh. And it's like thick when you wipe it away. I don't know. I'm really excited to try that on my face. All right, so we're going into the second bag. This one I actually got for my daughter because she is also starting YouTube and she does Instagram. This is the DIY Neon Lights. So basically it comes with this white board and some pegs and you can kind of write whatever word you want on it. It's pretty freaking cool. It was $6. So I thought that was pretty decent. You can personalize your neon sign. Three meters of neon wire and infinite possibilities. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Like sometimes you go to Marshalls and TJ Maxx and you get like hella good shit. But then other times you go and you're just like, what the fuck? All right, so the next two things that I got, I saw them and I needed them because I love lashes and that's why I'm kind of upset that I can't wear lashes right now because my eyes are acting a fool, but I thought these were super... No, I'm kidding. I thought these were super freaking cool. I love the lashes. I love the artwork on it. So I'll be hanging these on my wall somewhere anywhere because they need to be hung the world needs to see them i'm just kidding so i paid 7.99 they are canvas board and i really like them and i can't wait to hang them so the next thing also not beauty related that's what i'm just, just realizing it's like a lot of the stuff that i got was not makeup related but it's it's a part of me because it's going to be part of my background so one of the things that I am super into right now is just positivity so I saw this and I was like oh my god I have to freaking have it because I think that like all the positivity that you give out is the positivity you're going to give back you know we can't all have perfect days but we can all try to give out as many good vibes as we can so I thought this was super freaking cute and I can just put it on my desk and it was $4.99 so the next thing was also another skincare item. No, actually, I think this is, yeah. So this is e.l.f. Beauty Shield Antioxidant Enriched Skin Protection. So Skin Shielding Primer, Universal Tint. So it is a holographic or iridescent, whichever. Go ahead and comment. Let me know if this is holographic or is this iridescent. I get confused between the two and people attack me all the time. So I'm just going to let y'all decide what it is. But this was... $4.99. I think it's a primer. And when it says universal tint, I'm kind of like, what does that even mean? We're all different. Ooh, even the package is like really, I don't know if you're going to be able to pick it up because of the light. It has like a pink, like iridescent shimmer to it. Like it's like, oh, I don't know how to explain it. I hope you can see it. It's really pretty. All right. So has a nice little pump. We're going to... Ooh, that's thick. So it definitely is tinted. So when it says universal, I'm going to go with no because not everyone is this color. But again, it's a primer. You put it under your foundation. So um, it seems like really thick and tacky, which is nice. It almost reminds me of the um, eyeshadow primer from Morphe more than it does like a face primer. But now that I've smeared it like all over my hand, you can just check it out there. <laughs> so I like it. I don't know. I'll have to try it out and see how it goes. Oh, and it has like a citrusy smell to it. But I think it's like really pretty. I like it. I'll add it to my collection. My collection. So the last two things I was super excited about. I got these babies. Now, I don't know if they're really good or not. I haven't really seen... I've seen reviews for them. Let me rephrase that. I know a ton of people have done reviews for them. However, I have not watched them because I was just like, eh, they're kind of expensive and I don't really want to buy them. I think they're like originally 30 something, maybe 28 in between there. It's the Stila um, Heaven's Hue Highlighter and it's the Putty Highlighters. So I got them for $7.99. This one is in Magnificent. Magnificent. And it, just the little container. And I have played with them already. I'm not going to lie to you. So this is the color of this one. And if you look here, like this is so cool. I will never get tired of messing with this. It's almost like a um, stress reliever. Like it's just so nice. So we're going to go ahead and swatch it. I'm going to give it a good swatch because it's a cream. So you really want to get it on your finger. And there's that. And we'll go ahead and oh 
that's gonna look so pretty. I feel like that's something that like you could really put on too if you were just wearing like just your face. <laughs> you were wearing just your face if you weren't wearing any face makeup and you're just doing like a natural look I think that that would be really pretty as just like a hue and I guess that's why they do the heavenly hues because it's just like a hue of color just to make you look glowy like I love this um I feel like you would have to put this on with your finger though because I really don't know how a brush would apply something like this and it seems to blend out okay so I'm gonna blend it a little bit to kind of give you so see how the color kind of disappears? The glow and the, like the shimmer is still there. So I really like that. And I think that's going to give you like a natural glow. That may definitely be something that you wear instead of foundation. Like if you're doing like an all natural look or you're just rushing out the door, but you really want to kind of give your face more definition or kind of like a oomph. You just want to tap it on the top of your cheeks, a little bit on your nose, and you're out the door looking glowy and natural. Now I won't lie to you. I like to use these kind of things and like liquid highlighters or stick highlighters, stuff that's not super, super blinding when I am like going to work or just waking up because guess what? I wake up at 3.30 in the morning, Monday through Friday, and your girl's not about to beat her face like this at 3.30 in the morning. No, thank you, next. So I like to use stuff like this to kind of give me just like a nice subtle glow throughout the day so I don't look like I'm dead. So the next one is Luminescence and this is also $7.99 again. These are amazing prices for these because I'm going to put the original price here. I'll look it up online at um, Ulta or Sephora. This is like a pink purple. I don't know if you can see that, but it has like reflex of almost like purple shimmer to it. But it's very light. It is that beautiful putty feeling. What is that? Like the, um, how they do the slime videos here on YouTube. It's like that. Like just like a stress relief. Like I just want to play with it all day. Just push, 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 push. All right. Get it together, Jamie. People got things to do. All right, so I'm gonna give it a good swatcheroo. And it is like that really pretty pink shimmer. And we're gonna go, oh, okay. So this one is definitely going to be perfect for what I was telling you, just putting it on your natural skin. It's just going to bring out that beautiful glow on your face. Like just this, when the sun hits it, it's gonna look so freaking fantastic. Definitely something that I'm going to try out and have to let you guys know how it goes. I don't, again, think that this is going to be something that I wish I didn't have so much highlighter on right now because I would totally try to use it. But I just don't think that it's going to be something you could probably like, ooh, sticking it on top of another highlighter seems to make it look okay. But I feel like as a highlighter on its own... I don't really think that it's going to do the job if you're looking for something blinding. But on like natural skin without foundation, I think that this will look really good, honestly. I think this will turn out like really well. I'm trying to put it somewhere like not highlighted already to see, like you see what I mean? It doesn't give you like a really blinding glow, but I really think that um just on your natural skin, it's going to give it a really nice iridescent luminous natural glow from within look all right guys so that is it for my marshall's haul today if you liked what you saw make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and of course if you're not subscribed just make sure you hit subscribe before you go and i will see you on the next one Bye.